So this is a this shot here is a pickup shot, with, and then we have our original scene here with. Uh, uh, and I love this. So one of the things that I learned in producing this, because the only rule was in or near the car was it could be near the car as long as it's, as long as it's parked. And yeah. so the, in the initial three epi- four sorry four episodes were really three episodes were mostly in the car, and it just took forever. And eventually I said, okay, fine. We only have to introduce the car movie, and we could stop it at some point, and then let the scene fall into place. On the sidewalk. It was fine. Well, this is an important moment for these characters as they talk about, you know, potentially not being being friends anymore effectively. You know, that's what would happen if uh, Lance moved back home. They wouldn't be friends anymore. So mm-hmm. I think it's important that they be on the sidewalk, be away from the car, be in a different environment. It also is exciting because it kind of preps the audience for the insanity that is about to come. Yeah. Because uh, if you thought this was different, we're gonna take a big turn. <laughs> yeah. So we have. So here we have uh, Lance telling Dre that he wants to be a writer, which we've hinted in episode two that he's an English major. And of course, Drake has never seen any of his writing, and that's important for anybody who wants to take a, a particular position or path in their life. Is they have to take action. So here we just to take a break Second for a second. Here we have here we have Drake looking at camera talking to the audience again and you know he's looking at us he's looking at everybody saying that this is a sick ass web series and we all hope you know mark and i hope you think it, it is exactly what he says it is but it's it's uh you know this scene's really about lance figuring out if he wants to take charge of his life uh because he's never really written anything and so drake who of course takes many many chances with his life is is in fact lecturing him and and how he's going to uh, pursue his future. Cute little spark. Yeah, I'm excited yet. And then we have this fun little moment of the. Uh, he's he, at, hopefully at this point he's asking the question that the audience has been asking, which is, wait, what is this thing? Yeah, like, well, is just he just counting a, skittles? Yeah, why <laughs> would you be counting skittles? Like it took a little bit of time to catch up to where the audience is. Yeah, so now, and now we have the reminder to the audience that Sam is waiting, perhaps, that maybe Lance has a chance at being with this very beautiful woman. Yeah, and... it's, it's a fun misdirect for the whole episode because I think that a viewer would watch this and say, okay, so they've got to get to her. That's where this episode is going to end. Right. You know, Our characters are putting a lot of attention and a lot of time on trying to make this happen. So you think you know where we're going, but you actually, you actually have no clue. Right. We, we reveal here in just a second that wh- you know why that's actually not going to her. Why they'll never ever make it to their destination. Yeah. But one more reminder that Sam's actually there, and that Lance is incapable of being suave and just saying hi. It would be good to see you again. Yeah. Instead, he, he just blows it. He has to say one of the weirdest things a person could say in this moment. And so this is a fun thing here, you know, this wide shot. I, I love seeing these cars pass before our main characters. And that's just one thing that really helps with making something look wonderful and uh, alive. It's things passing in between the camera and our subjects. Well, I like thinking about this guy and the, these two guys in the white shirts walking behind our heroes because you're across the street i am far away I'm like so 80 feet away they probably just think these and these guys are you know the only people on the sidewalk with lobs they're insane no they can't see the lobs. they think they're just having yeah this they think they're weird just chatting it up just being really aggressive towards each other and being really strange yeah so yeah, yeah, yeah. One is lecturing the other on how he can change his life. It's it's not like an AA meeting. Well, one of them is eating candies and I'm like, fucking Hollywood. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? So I didn't tell you. Oh well, in episode eight, we'll talk about the meth head that really I hope took so. over the production. production. Yeah, it was awesome. So here we go. We're continuing, and then you've got uh, Drake saying that he's got he, he has to fix his his problems that he typically pursues. And we reveal those drugs in those candies. 
or rather that the candies are always drugs. Yeah, they're all drugs. Yeah, and Lance, of course, has somehow forgotten which. Yeah. Well, he, he he chose to believe that they weren't drugs. That yeah. it wasn't drugs. Now, I love this moment personally. Where he swipes the candy up. He's but, still concerned about his profit, and he runs off chasing a, him. He is a businessman. Yeah, and then which takes us into episode eight. Episode eight. Episode quattro of men. If you turn that eight on its side, it's infinity. Think about it. Yeah, wild. 